Nassere will be up against Luis de Nascimento of Brazil. And he's had a fight already. De Nascimento beat Sing Yu So, otherwise known as Rex So of Hong Kong, who had a pretty extensive pro career, Rex So, 22 and 0 actually. Hasn't boxed as a pro for, for a while. So that was a good win. Boxed in the World Military Championships at the end of September, 2020 Brazilian champion. Youth Olympian, bronze medalist at the Youth Olympics in 2018 and a bronze at the World Youths as well in the same year. Just 20 years old. So looking to make the step up onto the elite senior stage here. So De Sario, Italy in the red. De Nascimento, Brazil in the blue. This is our opening fight in ring B on day four. So De Sario, Southpaw, De Nascimento, Orthodox. Looking for that right to the body there, De Nascimento. Looks to have pretty quick hands. The way De Sario's set up. Carries that elbow quite wide on his lead hand. Relatively straightforward, therefore, for Danasiamento to tell when he's about to throw that lead hand, about to throw that jab. Short little left hand there from Danasiamento. Looks to try and whip the right hand up the middle as well. Again, looking for the right to the body there, Danasiamento trying to get in, land that, pull the feet back out. Looking for the left hand counter there, De Serio. Danasiamento switches southpaw. Right hand up top there from the Brazilian, who's having the better of things in the opening minute or so. De Serio hasn't really found his range just yet. That jab hits the gloves. Gloves low, the Nascimento relying not always, but at times on his reflexes, gets that guard up now. Just try to spring forward with the left hand there, the Nascimento fell just slightly short. Same story for De Serio with the jab, just touching the gloves with the jab there. He's not close enough to let that left hand go. Did so there, but it fell short. Danasiamento trying to work to the body. Rights of body from Donatio into the closing stages of round one. Nice combination on the inside there from him as well. He's had the edge in this round. The fighter in blue. He's found his range slightly better. Hand speed is superior as well. Left hand there just connects with Desario as the bell goes. So that'll be a round in the books there, I would say, for the fighter in blue. Some split scoring, three cards going in favor of Danasiamento there, Tajikistan and Argentina going for De Serio. I just felt Danasiamento largely dictated terms in the opening round there. As I say, he's got quicker hands. Managed to get his feet just a little bit closer. Both of them, for the most part, were falling slightly short or, or hitting gloves, but Danasiamento, certainly I felt, landed the 
the greater amount of clean blows in that opening round. And he's got it with three of the judges, so slight advantage to him. So into the second, Desario of Italy in the red, Nascimento of Brazil in the blue. Looking flat right to the body, that's been the, the shot that he's gone for most so far, Danasiamento. Just drops, dips those knees a bit and then looks to shoot it long and straight. Dips to the left and tries to lead off with a left hook there, Danasiamento. I don't think it really got through. Desario just backed up to the ropes there. Pulled off the right hand there, Danasiamento. Then manages to back Desario up to the ropes and tries to let his hands go. I don't think much of that landed. The hands were quick, but Desario had, had covered up fairly effectively. Left to the body there from Desario. The feet in much better kind of range there. Danasiamento just creeping forward with the high guard there. And if he does that and doesn't really look like throwing, then Desario doesn't need to hesitate. He just needs to, to let his own hands go because he's, he's well within distance. And in the first round, what he struggled with was getting into range. Danasiamento has changed things up a bit in the second round, but I do think the way that he's going about this does give Desario a slightly better chance. Right hand there from Danasiamento, just dipped down low and then threw that right to the body again. Just pulling his weight slightly onto the back foot there, Desario. Looks for the jab, and again, it's it's short. Right to the body from the Brazilian and steps in and looks for it again. He's got to do a bit more here, Desario. He managed to get two cards at the end of that first round. I thought he was fairly fortunate to get them. And he's just not throwing enough here. Just backing up, allowing Danasiamento really to, to dictate. He's short with the right hand that time. Turns southpaw Danasiamento. Desario with the jab. But again, it just hasn't quite got the legs. Danasiamento. Throws that right from the waist up top, and again, I made that his round. The is just being a bit too negative here, I think. It's a kind of performance. Well, we'll see what the judges make of the second round, but it's a kind of performance, I think, really, that, that you would look back on and regret a bit. He got a bye in the first round, so this is his first fight of the championships. And four out of five judges go for Danasia Mento there, so... Crucially for him, he's got a two-point lead with three of the judges. One card level, and the other judge going two rounds to zero in favour of Desario. So Danasiamento here is in control because Desario is going to need some 10 eights to try and turn this around. So third and final round, Raffaele De Serio of Italy with it all to do here in the third and final round up against Luis Danasiamento of Brazil. Danasiamento has just been busier. He's looked for that right to the body. He's had a plan when it comes to that. It's been a scoring shot that he's landed and he's taken it a few times. Does so again there. Uh, De Serio has been on the back foot. He's been happy enough to give that ground a box off the back foot, but he just hasn't thrown enough. Right to the body again there from Danasiamento. Danasiamento, in the second round particularly, was happy just to step to Desario a little bit, which presumably would be what Desario would want him to do, given the way he was going about things. But 
there were very few counters coming back from him. Looking for the left hand there, Desario, and I don't know, he's just lacked a bit of conviction here. I don't want to get on his case too much, but this is a World Championships. The, the gum shield's come out there for Desario, and I don't think the referee quite noticed. He's telling him to wipe his gloves off, but the gum shield's on the other side of the ring. There's that right hand. A little bit low, that one may be. But again, he faints, distracts with the left, dips the knees, throws the right hand straight down the middle. When he gets it right, that time, he just pulls off that right hand a little bit or pulls back on it because he realises that his opponent is, is out of range and he doesn't want to, to chase it in, which is the right thing to do because it means you keep your balance rather than stretch for it overbalance and then the weight just comes forward so he's got a good disciplined approach here then Asiomento. Desario as I say just hasn't really asked that many questions of him. Into the final minute. Desario throws the left hand, but again, it, it just hits the gloves. He's, he's barely landed anything clean. He's hit some gloves, but I don't recall almost a single punch, really, where he's hit the, the scoring area, the torso or the front or side of the head. I think he got one through there, the right hook. Nice, quick right hook. But Danasio Manto with a 20 point to 18 lead on three cards going into this final round is is going through to the next stage. We'll have to wait and see what the final cards are. It will be by split decision, either 4-1 or 3-2, because Desario had a two-round lead on one card going into the final round. The gum shield's come out again there and then just cannoned into his heel as he was backpedaling, so he's ended up booting it outside of the ring, and one of our officials has retrieved it gingerly. So just 10 seconds remaining here. And it's going to be Danasio who goes through to the, to the next stage. Where he will meet the winner of our next fight between Jamal Harvey and Miraz Izbek Mirzikhaililov. Bell goes, both seem to claim victory there, but it's going to be Danasio who gets the win. His second fight of the tournament. That's a little pad that the judges press at ringside to score a 10-9, 10-8 or a 10-7. The 10-6 is still on that device actually, but there is no 10-6 anymore. So Brazil goes through in that final round by split decision 4-1. So he took it with all five of the judges. And it was Tajikistan in there, I think, that went the other way, that went to Serio's way two rounds to one. Three cards, three rounds to nil for Donacimento, which is how I had it. And the other one, two rounds to one. So he goes through to the next round. And as I say, I just cast an eye over this next fight because he will be getting the winner. USA against Uzbekistan.